Hi everybody, we're going to perform a really cool procedure today on tooth number three. Our patient has an existing occlusal lingual composite and the composite is broken down and there are some interesting features that we'll show you in the still photography that may indicate the need for an MOL uh, restoration. But we're going to do this in gold today and I'm going to follow the technique as described by Richard V. Tucker. Uh, a gentleman that I learned so much from uh, almost uh, 25 years ago and I'm going to show you this technique from start to finish so we're going to clean it out, we're going to prepare it we're going to take the impression, make our provisional and ultimately we're going to cement the restoration in our next video so thanks for staying uh, tuned and uh, let's get started None of the carries here are so deep. You have to worry too much. I'm going to break the contact here on the face hole. Um, this is an antibacterial. Um, it's probably not entirely necessary, uh, but um, it's become a routine for me. And I just think that, you know, with the amount of bacteria that were in this preparation uh, tooth before I started, and any leakage that could happen, um, just, you know, I, I think we're, uh, we're doing the right thing. Okay, and then after scrubbing this for um, 30 seconds or so, maybe a little longer, we can go ahead and just blow that dry. Well, you can either blow it, but you don't rinse this. Don't rinse. Uh, I have a lot more than I need, so I'll just kind of put it over here. Over here like that. I can spread some of that excess around the uh, indent in here. I don't think that'll cause any trouble. It basically allow us to bond the parabond material into position. Really don't need much of this. And then we're going to, after this, we do a little product. At this point, we're ready to place the pair bond. Now, let's put a little matrix in there. Just to keep the Jason 2 from getting too much debris on. Notice the bright white product. That's all. Okay. And this product will light cure much faster. Will set much faster with a light cure as well. You notice how Ermi holds the light for a few seconds before she drops it on top of the uh, materials. That's the technique called hover and drop. And she's going to go ahead and light cure that again. This is going to be uh, a 30 second cure.
So uh, just to sum up, I thought I'd kind of go over what we did today and what we accomplished. We were able to uh, isolate uh, tooth number three with the rubber dam, and we isolated from two to 12. And then we were able to disassemble the old composite, which had a significant amount of decay underneath it. But fortunately, the decay wasn't so deep. And then after that, we uh, utilized a chlorhexidine to kill bacteria, followed by glass vitamin in the deepest area. And after that, we used a bonded paracore blockout 